they don't, I, I think they'll look at it as a real disappointment. Burnley have to hang in there. I think that's why the change has happened. Brown Hill come in, in that middle there, will be responsible, will be harder probably to beat in terms of being more solid through that central part of the pitch. And to nick a goal and get something out of this game, but I fully expect Chelsea to really turn the screw here a little bit. Mauricio Pochettino is animated at times in that first period. Side made a very slow start to the game and then really got into it with the helps of the likes of Gusto and Cole Palmer combining. That's a really cool throw in. Now he oh, to Try and make him roads. So Charlie Taylor here, the left back who'd been dropped to the bench for this game. Coming on after that red card for Asignon. And there's Craig Bellamy, the former Wales international, fiery character, excellent player in his time. Newcastle, Coventry, Norwich, etc. The fire will certainly still be burning for Burnley. Uh, the lights are flickering on their Premier League campaign. It was already looking very, very difficult for them to make the great escape. Nine cup finals is what their manager Vincent Company had called upon. And Cullen with a strike! just talking about what Burnley are going to do in this second half and be solid was one of the the conversations and the other one was try and get a goal from somewhere well this is it what a hit Josh Cullen lovely setback Chelsea a little bit too far off the Burnley midfield players here but that is angled perfectly into that far corner he cuts across the ball with his right foot and it just nestles right inside the post. You've got Petrovic at full stretch. He's not able to get enough on it. It's a brilliant hit from Josh Cullen. What a start to the second half for Burnley. And what a way to score his first ever Premier League goal. Take a bow, Josh Cullen. Well, the vibe at half-time here was very much one of, well, I think we know to expect in the second half after Asignon was sent off and how difficult it would be for Burnley and talks of the game being over. This is from neutrals elsewhere in the media area. Josh Cullen might have just heard word of that and thought, oh no, you don't. We'll show you what we're made of. And Burnley after that 2-2 draw at West Ham. And the 2-1 victory over Brentford. Uh, the help of an opposition player being sent off on that occasion. Reggie on for Brentford, but this time they're a man down. But the fight is still there, and Chelsea still have work to do. Well, it just makes their, their job that much harder, Jackie, to be honest, because it's given Burnley something to really hang on to. We've seen how 10 men in the past can really defend well, where they've got something to, to hold on to, and Burnley have that now for Chelsea up against Taylor Gallagher Stowe the Frenchman Taylor standing firm Gallagher to Caicedo Palmer score of that Kanenka penalty towards the end of the first half taken so coolly from the youngster he showed throughout that first half just high how high his confidence levels are a few efforts at goal early on not the ideal finishing from his perspective but he kept taking those shots well, he, he tried to nutmeg Josh Cullen twice there with a the pass I mean he's in a cheeky mood Cole Palmer I will say penalty does indicate that but all over the pitch he's looking for he's looking to, to figure out and find a solution no matter what area he's in and I think that's something that he likes about him Mauricio Pochettino he knows the importance of his creativity and not afraid to take a chance is he 
21 year old signed for 42 and a half million pounds from Manchester City and you wonder what his value is now after the season that he's having Gallagher homegrown player very strongly linked with the move to Tottenham before the start of the season but he's started all bar one Premier League games only missing one game through suspension Kukurea reminder Chelsea are a man up how do they make that count Matt? well they've just got to move the ball quickly and I think when, when you're playing against 10 men holding on to the ball for, for too long allows them to adjust Gusto, good ball in out with Ayastev as well here's Casado for Chelsea Jackson with the movement up front he's Gusto against Taylor Casado Enzo Fernandez now they're trying to just Take it in his stride on the turn. It's those one touch passes in and around the box that are going to unlock Burnley. Move the ball quickly. It's really hard for Burnley to adapt. These kind of passes here into Madrid, fired into to Gallagher. Just can't quite take the ball with his first touch. Burnley have now had six players sent off this season. They were level with Liverpool on five. Three straight reds and three double yellows as Cabrera can't get hold of that. And they come back from a goal down and a man down. Well, they've only ever managed to take one point this season after conceding the first goal. And that was from 2-0 down home to Fulham in February they look like a side though that's up for the fight I've certainly not given up here Casado the Ecuadorian They've had a lot of chopping and changing this season I have to mention of course in terms of Maurizio Pochettino how many injured players he's had this season it's been absolutely extraordinary he's got 10 absent at the moment and he sort of was a little sarcastic in his press conference saying you think it's the way i train it's not the way i train players I've nothing to do with the injury problems but certain people have asked that question because it is a lot of muscle problems as well as unfortunate acl to the likes of fafana wesley fafana fernandez now Kukurea in a dangerous position. That's a corner. We've got to really tune in here now. Burnley. They're in that vulnerable position of just equalising. You look at statistics and think, well, within that first 10 minutes after that goal, teams do concede quite a lot. If you're just not quite tuned in well enough and set plays especially. Modric gets it back from Palmer. Modric. A touch from Odebear, but you can see Burnley's second half now after this. It's going to involve a player in that position, trying to play it forward, but to nobody at all because they need all the men back. It's like a back four and then a five in midfield. That's, that's kind of it. You know, that's, that, that, that's the discipline they're going to have to show. And if they can get hold of the ball, get some passes together, then I'm sure the likes of Foster or players like that will try and get high up the pitch. But other than that, it's about discipline now for Burnley. Can they hang on? concedes the throw in Badger Shield into the starting lineup today after yet another injury for Chelsea Trevor Chalabar the player out this time Fernandez in towards Gallagher it's good defending from O'Shea there really read that situation nicely came across made it look easy
Cedric swings the ball to Gusto. Trying to move Burnley around out of their two banks of four and five. As we can see from our vantage point up here. Enzo Fernandez, the Argentine. Now to Gusto. Without the movement up front. Burnley will be growing in confidence with every minute that passes that Chelsea don't manage to half them open. Oh, and that deflection almost falls with Modric. Modric and he'll be away by O'Shea. Kukureya, danger not averted. Caicedo. Fernandez and Gusto's got it behind. But it wasn't the first touch he wanted. Allowing Charlie Taylor to nip in and clear the danger. What an opportunity for Chelsea. Wow, well, it's just a back a touch here from Gusto. Doesn't get it right along his way. Charlie Taylor just switches off and allows that running behind him. But a great challenge from uh, Vettinho a moment ago. Just before that piece of action, does really well to get the tackle in. Gets the ball before Mudrick. chance that was for the South African making his first start for almost two months with David Fofana ineligible Petrovic had to make the save Badger Shield denying him at the second attempt well, Badger Shield just doesn't know where he is he gets drawn in underneath the ball Foster in behind him gets the header does really well it's a good save from Petrovic but there's a lot of unrest in this stadium at the moment the home supporters looking at Chelsea thinking we need to get a hold of this game starting to slip away from them a little bit even with the 10 men of Burnley important save by the Serbian who won his third cap for Serbia in midweek against Russia starting his 12th game in a row after coming off the bench at Everton in December for Robert Sanchez who was injured he's managed to keep his place ever since now Sanchez is injured again playing in MLS last season for New England Revolution and you can really feel the unrest now as you mentioned Matthew Upson of the Chelsea supporters and the longer this stays level Chelsea with the man advantage and struggling to break down Burnley the more these supporters will get frustrated there we go, some activity on the bench scored a goal because in effect it's a similar thing with a block like this great play from Gallagher sets it back to Mudrick really nice the little dummy there and Estev just in the right place at the right time turns his back to get the block but he's in the right position for Burnley corner for Chelsea away by Taylor then another opportunity prepares to come on for Conor Gallagher in just a moment Madweke in really good goal scoring form and any kind of level of confidence in goal scoring will be welcomed by Chelsea right now but they have another corner away easily this time by O'Shea who urges his fellow yellow shirted Burnley 
players to get up the field. In the moment is Conor Gallagher who will be coming off. Nice ball from Fernandez to Mudrick. Cucurez made the run. Oh, and Jackson is there, so too Gusto. And so Fernandez gets his strike all wrong. Here's Dezassi. Too much on it for Gusto. And another Chelsea attack comes to nothing. Well, I'm not surprised to see a change for Chelsea. It just got that feel, hasn't it, that it needs freshening up. in midweek for England under 21s player born in North London Barnet to be precise Nigerian ascent Senzo Fernandez with the skipper's armband now after Gallagher going off I saw him just get handed that he's got the responsibility of leading this Chelsea team to victory in this difficult circumstance now it's very cagey out on that pitch half an hour to go can they find something to win this match Brownhill to Berger done by Brownhill who's looking for Odebert Cullen Basham scoring his first Premier League goal spectacularly so for Burnley and so Fernandez sends Mudrick away Coutinho on the chase so much to do but he has answered a lot of questions here for me it's a brilliant saves a three million pound signing from manchester city a couple of years ago He's had some loans abroad in his time it's really rash from patina isn't it allows mudrich to get in behind him good footwork from him but that man in the right place at the right time he's made some really good blocks in this game Five goalkeeper Norwich theory being that he was such a big strong strapping lad available for hire off the bench James Trafford perhaps just feeling the pressure having conceded a fair few goals starting every game the first 28 Norwich though cementing his place he may be called upon here again Gusto nice touch from him Caicedo Madweke the substitute Jackson. Well played Charlie Taylor, who's done well since coming on after that. Asignon Red came on for Seki and Dooney. Fernandez. Keeper Jackson didn't fall kindly for him. In terms of the running aspect being direct in behind just like that chance a moment ago but when he sets up to shoot he just looks a little bit hurried and a little bit snatchy when he addresses the ball he's not striking it particularly cleanly recently maligned Raheem Sterling is available off the bench be interesting to see what sort of reaction there is were he to be brought on in the second half with Chelsea needing something I think it's interesting that Madawaki's come on you know, in, in a moment where let's face it Chelsea desperate for a goal shouldn't be in this position really given the fact you're 1-0 up against 10 men at home 
Madueke probably, well, is in fact in better form than Raheem Sterling, which is why he's on the pitch. And VAR, we're having a look at that to see if there's anything untoward red card wise, but John Brooks deeming that to be accidental. Two players just coming together. We do get to hear from VAR in our feed, which is very handy to know what the, the thinking is. You may or may not agree with some of the decisions, but at least it's good to be able to explain them. An amazing possession. Look at that. 81% in the second half. Burnley with the one goal. Could have been two, couldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. They've had the two, well, two best chances, scored one. And the other one from Costa Force, the brilliant save. Both goalkeepers, in fact. You know, we're praising Buric because he's probably been the busier of the two. But whenever Petrovic has been called into action, he really has answered. before in the Premier League just the once it was on the opening day of the season in August 2017 when Antonio Conte was in charge of Chelsea Sean Dyche's side racing to a 3-0 lead at half time they eventually won 3-2 and they picked up a one all draw the last time they came here so it's not the unhappiest of hunting grounds it has to be said there's a few smiles there perhaps they may not have expected quite such a promising showing from their side maybe they did Maybe that's why they're here. Maybe they're just fabulous supporters who come rain or shine. Yeah. They'll be here. One of the founder members of the Football League. A club with great history. And before the Roman Abramovich era, Burnley had won double the number of English league titles than Chelsea had won. Yeah, and that Burnley team you mentioned there, that the 3-0 up the start of that season with Antonio Conte in charge was a very different type of team to this one though, wasn't it? Very different in terms of style and, and how they play. Oh, that's not quite the clearance that Dizassi was after. The scores from O'Shea are now away by Fernandez. Now what about the space for Madrid to run into? He's looking, he's constantly looking for the apple. And he finds Jackson. Now what about the movement? Madweke is full of confidence, but it's straight at Murich this time. Well, I thought he was lining up to hit that first time here. Another break from Mudrik, who's certainly got the legs. Ball comes inside, and just here, the weight of the pass is good. I think he was going to hit it at first time. Decided to have a touch, and it's a clean strike. The two central, pretty comfortable for Muric in the end. So, a couple of changes. And Lyle Foster, who's starting his first game in almost two months, and could have put Burnley in front. Jay Rodriguez coming on, who scored inside 14 seconds here at Stamford Bridge in a Southampton shirt a decade ago. And Wilson Oderbert, who's played his part, is coming off as well. Johan Berg Goodmanson, the Iceland international. He probably doesn't want to look too closely at Nicolo Mudrik after his Iceland side had gone a goal up in the playoff final for a place at the Euros in midweek against Ukraine. And Ukraine turned it around and Mudrik scored the winner. This being a very different challenge today. Ten men of Burnley looking to stand firm. And they have some fresh legs. Here's Dezassi. Chelsea looking to break down this really hard-working Burnley side. Gusto with the ball in. Jackson given a lot of credit Matthew Upson especially you as a former central defender for England and in the Premier League of Estev and O'Shea yeah. in the centre of this Burnley defence they've been really solid really solid a lot of good tackles a lot of good reading of the game like O'Shea the fact he's coming across and just anticipating that space they're getting blocks in but they're now in that position where they're just getting people around them to centre back here you're trying to get your full backs tucked in you want your two midfield players not to stray too far you know, it really is that kind of siege mentality. Exactly. Oh, it's a really cool ball looking for Jackson. You can hear the 
rumblings of discontent around Stamford Bridge. The clock's ticking, isn't it? 20 minutes or so. With a bit of added on time, I'm sure, for Chelsea to get the winner. And the pressure's on because if they don't win this game after the situation they were in, it's only going to be a negative feel. Burnley, on the other, other hand, well, probably in the best points acquiring form of the season, aren't they? I would say if they were to get a point here, they'd be in a really good run. Burnley. Yes, they're two unbeaten after the two-all draw at West Ham and that victory against Brentford. Although they'll still look back at the West Ham game and feel frustrated they let slip a two-goal lead. Only control what lies in front of them. And at the moment, it's 11 players of Chelsea. Here's Madweke. Here's Gusto. That's a good early ball from Chelsea. It was offside anyway. Such promising, promising move. We haven't seen a huge amount of Jackson in terms of goal-scoring opportunities this afternoon. That one went wide anyway with the offside flag up. There's much more direct ball over the top I think it's just the touch there the initial pass was onside but that is not a really easy finish because it's bouncing at pace and tries to just punch it into that far post area and both Moises Caicedo has gone off and Raheem Sterling is about to come on his supporters already on their feet heading to welcome him on And a smile from Sterling and the support from the stands. It's a helpful combination as the 11 men of Chelsea go hunting all three points. How Sterling and Chelsea could do with a tonic here. Rodriguez so coming together. Goodmanson. Correa marauding down that left hand side as he has done all afternoon. Now Sterling, now Palmer. Nice idea to Madweki who does get the ball and then forgets to take it. Looking to go alone but it's blocked by Cullen. Berger, every Burnley player has had to step up even further than they'd started. And they did make a really promising start here today in the opening 10 minutes or so. Just need to try and get out of here a little bit higher. There's a danger that Burnley just going to sit a little bit too deep and allow Chelsea to have those little interchange passes in this kind of area of the pitch. If they move it one and two touch in there, it's hard to, to live with, even though you've got the bodies back in. And Chelsea are almost kind of a 4-1-4-1, aren't they? With Enzo Fernandez looking to be the midfield player. It's just going to sit a little bit and you've just got all attacking players in front of him. Palmer finds Gusto in acres of space on this near side. As Taylor comes across. Calls to Kukurea. Palmer! And Morich has to be in the running for player of the match in this game. He has been excellent. I think he's got my vote. This is well executed from Cole Palmer. That's got a lot of pace on it, that cutback from Kukurea, and he really strikes it nicely. It's not easy to get that kind of control uses the pace of the pass for the power as well and it's just good reading
time and ability to get his head up. Madwake here. não veio claro em defesa do jogador portanto... enfim, foi uma situação Berger every Burnley player had to step up even further than they started and they did make a really promising start here today in the opening 10 minutes of Chet since coming off the bench for Chelsea once that equaliser goes in for Burnley something to hold on to it's proving that case they've been very very disciplined Burnley Craig Bellamy Bello and his instructions from the sidelines trying to keep his team organised and I'm sure he's trying to get them as high up the pitch as he can as well not to sit too deep you're going to sit deeper because you're not going to have the ball but you've got to get that balance right Burnley a little opportunity to get a few 
players into the box and put a testing delivery in there and see what happens. Johan Berg Goodmanson and that man Josh Cullen, scorer of his first Premier League goal this afternoon in spectacular fashion. Burnley haven't laid down at any point this afternoon. Cullen. Oh, it's a good ball towards the far post. And they've got a corner. Well, it had to be defended well, didn't it? Lonnie Mudaweke at that back post, but it was a really good delivery. Two yellow Burnley.
that is a problem for Marlo Gusto. Adam Gilchrist is preparing himself to come on. He started the last couple of FA Cup matches for Chelsea. A young defender. And there's an opportunity here with Gusto, who's seen so much of the ball this afternoon. And Chelsea's injury problems, my goodness, they already have 10 players unavailable due to injury. And this to be Alfie Gilchrist, the 20 year old, former QPR youth player. And that's a real problem for Chelsea. And it has to be an injury that keeps Gusto out. An opportunity for Alfie Gilchrist. Making his sixth Premier League appearance. I started here against Leeds in the FA Cup in February. Oh, we're in the 87th minute already. Where's the time gone? He's absolutely flown this afternoon. The home supporters would have come here expecting on a four-match unbeaten run. And the Burnley are second from bottom of the Premier League. They know they haven't had the best season themselves, but would have thought that three points were there for the taking. But nobody told Burnley that. Or maybe they did. They're playing as though they did. Berger, really good play by Berger. Games. Could well have been 17. That's 
far post Jay Rodriguez came just a moment É monstruoso em Sanford Bridge. 